Morris County reporting on the LARPers. The LARPers, it's going, it's spinning out of control. We have another, another potential uh, contestant in the potential mass shootings that we're seeing around the country, and his name is Titus Frost. So we're going to talk about this individual, but in, I guess, you know, we live in an age now where if you see something, say something. Is that a, th- is that a myth? Is seeing something and saying something a myth or is something that we should, uh, is it a call to arms is what I'm saying. And is the, is the, the QAnon conspiracy theory and other like conspiracy theories that float around the web, the, the question is, are these soul sicknesses? Are these uh, people that, that go de- so deeply down a rabbit hole that they're convinced of something and believe it so intensely to the point of of it's basically being gaslit and not seeing reality, not understanding the difference between what is factual and what is fantasy, right? Fiction as opposed to uh, reality. That is the that is the theme. And at what point do we declare the QAnon conspirators? At what point do we declare it a mental obsession or a, a mental defect? In the case of the QAnon killer, Anthony Camillo, the guy who shot the Gambino crime boss, the, the primary defense in that case is that Mr. Camillo is, is, is guilty by, is actually innocent by mental defect. Uh, that is the premise of the defense in that case, that Mr. Camillo shot the Gambino crime boss, because he believed through the cue boards that he was part, that, that Camilla, that um, the godfather uh, was part of some sort of higher, uh, uh, the Gambino guy was, Frankie Cali was part of some sort of uh, higher uh, cabal, some sort of conspiracy, right? So what exactly is Q? Let's look at it. So QAnon, we're going to look at each one of the shooters, and then I'm going to show you a very riveting video of Mr. Titus Frost, where he show, we basically, for about seven minutes, we're going to watch it, and you're going to see him get so worked up and so um, emotionally drawn into this theory that he encourages others to take to arms and take care of it, start killing people, literally start killing people to to rid the world of the the satanic, cabalistic, uh, uh, cannibalistic uh, 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 crowd of people that he believes this this fantasy world this fictional world of of baby hating people. So QAnon will and we'll watch that video at the end. But I want to I want to just give you the the, the preface. So QAnon, an online community that subscribes to the theory that a cabal of satanic, cannibalistic pedophiles has infiltrated the American government, media, entertainment industry. Uh, Donald Trump, according to QAnon, was secretly selected and is working to arrest the predators of the global conspiracy, which involves the Obamas, Bushes, Clintons, Rothschilds, George Soros, the late John McCain, and others. The theory originates from the message board 4chan, where an anonymous user with the pseudonym Q has been posting clues related to the conspiracy since 2017. Okay. Now, when we look at the, the definition of Q, right, people might argue what the definition of it is, but it's, it's not to say that there aren't high-profile people that are part of a cabal that do maybe, I don't know, gravitate towards Satanism, that, that like, you know, fantasize about eating people or are pedophiles. Right? We just saw that example in the Jeffrey Epstein case where there are, there are high-profile people that are, in fact, pedophiles. But the assumption that they're everywhere, and even in the case of, I've, I've already told you about the case of the this uh, Robert David Steele guy who claims on InfoWars that there are, not only are there pedophile colonies underground in tunnels in America, but they're also on Mars where the elites have shipped children for breeding into pedophilia rings to Mars 
and then import them back so that they could eat them and drink their blood and have sex with children. So this is this is a an actual uh, an actual theory that's floated in the QAnon community. So that's what QAnon is, and does this Titus Frost uh, uh, fit the mo, or does he fit the narrative of a potential? QAnon participant who is capable of killing? The answer is, in my opinion, the answer is yes. So there's, let's just look at some of the killers. So this is, this is uh, Gam, the, the guy who shot the Gambino crime boss. This is Anthony Camillo, 24 years old, white, QAnon killer. Right? He's, um, again, responsible for shooting down Frankie Cali in front of his Staten Island home because he, he, he went there to make a citizen's arrest and believed that Frankie Cali was part of a higher cabal, and he was there to arrest him. And then when he wouldn't, he wouldn't succumb to the arrest, he shot Frankie Cali dead, right? And he's, again, a, a confessed QAnon conspirator. You see him with his hand in the courtroom with the Q on his hand, all the um, MAGA forever, patriots in charge, all this QAnon MAGA stuff, right? This is um, the Garlic Festival shooter, 19 years old, Santino Legan, who shot the people down at the Garlic Festival, three people. Dayton, Ohio shooter, 24-year-old uh, Conor Betts. Uh, this is Mr. Conor Betts. He was in the, the pornographic rock band. I don't know what. But I think he's, he's, that guy's dead. He's dead. This is, um, this is uh, who's this? This is uh, the El Paso shooter, 21-year-old Patrick uh, Crucius. Patrick Crucius, 21 years old. Again, all white, all in their 20s. This is the Christchurch New Zealand shooter, Branton Tarrant. Branton Tarrant, 28 years old. The Thousand Oaks shooter, 28-year-old Ian Long. All of them of which, again, involved in the QAnon theory. Not that QAnon told them to go out and shoot people, but you could see how the theory you know, manifests, right? So we'll talk about some of, these are some of the screen players, but let's just look at Titus Frost. So this is Mr. Titus Frost. He is in his 20s, white. I don't know his name. He's believed to be in Massachusetts on his own admission. Um, some of his videos indicate that he's married. He has children. We don't know where he works or what he does, really. And you're going to see the seven-minute video. I'm going to play it in a second, but I want to talk about the in this particular conspiracy, right, as it's, there is a, a connection to Q, but there is an also a, a deeper connection to a couple of other types of conspiracies that are floated on, on the web. And that particular one starts with the gentleman on the left. This is, uh, this is George uh, Schwaggert. His name is George Schwaggert. He goes by the name of George Webb on the Internet. Now, the, the other thing about this is that with Titus Frost... Titus Frost has 40,000 subscribers, okay? It's not a small reach. The man has 40, the child, child man, whatever he is, 40,000 subscribers he has. And you see his videos, some of his videos, 141,000 views with the Pizzagate, Pedogate conspiracy theory. All right? So he's, he's a Pedogate, Pizzagate conspiracy theorist with 40,000 subscribers who's encouraging, as you'll see in the video, encourages people to take arms and go hunt down and shoot the, the perpetrators of a fictional theory of pedophiles buried in the ground in tunnels and, and children trapped in tunnels being raped on trees, according to the theory. So some of the, the, these, these gentlemen need uh, mention because they're, they're tied loosely or very tightly to, uh, to this Titus Frost guy. It's a similar community. So you have George, George Webb, 50,000 subscribers, weaving these alcoholic guy walking around D.C., weaving these incredibly ridiculous, you know, narratives, you know, incomprehensible <laughs> narratives of, of everything is connected somehow to guns and drugs, and every story is then spun into some other kind of kooky conspiracy. Right? Uh, and, that, and that the ultimate goal is to weed out the corruption in the deep state, that the deep state is behind everything. This is his brother to the right, uh, I don't know, David, David Acton, kind of a 
kind of a, uh, I don't know, maybe cross dresser. I don't know. Uh, so Dave Acton is his brother. His name is also David, is uh, David George Acton, same middle name. And this is the lawsuit David George Acton, the, the, the man on the, on the right, has alleged against another conspiracy theorist, Jason Goodman. Now, these two individuals, right, uh, and, and in fact, Mr. Uh, Acton has been, is on the record saying that he purposely used his middle name, George Schwaggart, so that, so that people would, would not read past the name and blame his brother George for filing the lawsuit against Jason Goodman the conspiracy theorist. Now, it's it's safe now to say that that Mr. Acton is a confirmed, a confirmed, according to the according to the courts, a confirmed uh, conspiracy theorist. In the ju- in the words of the judge, this is a frivolous dispute between two litigants whose voluminous court filings rehash their incomprehensible and illogical online conspiracy theories. The judge goes on to identify. Uh, the guy on the right, Mr. Acton, Mr. C- Con- now he's changed his name from the Prepper Kitty website, is now Combat uh, Exclamation Point. He's running, basically. He's running away. He's produced, I don't know, I have, I have on, in a file probably 30 videos attacking this reporter personally for suggesting that he might be a kook and a conspiracy theorist. Uh, so and I expect more to come. Right? So, so we're 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 continuing to follow that. So here he is, in this court filing. The judge basically calls not only the litigant, the plaintiff, uh, George uh, David Acton, David Schwaggard, not only the litigant is a, an insane conspiracy theorist, incomprehensible and illogical conspiracy theorist, but so is the guy that he's suing because of the answers that the defendant has given. And that's this guy, Jason Goodman. Again, so confirmed conspiracy theorists. Now, what does, that ha- what does that have to do with Mr. Titus Frost, and what does it have to do with the QAnon conspiracy? Well, it, it does. This is one other guy. This is actually two other guys. This is the, one of the script writers, right? This is uh, Steve Outram uh, from Australia. He's not even an American. And he is also responsible for supporting these crazy uh, conspiracy theories that evolve out of George Webb and Dave Acton and Jason Goodman. And another guy right here. This is a serial predator that we're, that is, uh, he has no real platform, but he's, as I, as I showed in other videos, he's a serial predator. He's actually come after this reporter for for mentioning his name or talking about him, right? So Thomas Schoenberger is another one who kind of works behind the scenes and seems to be very, very close with this guy, right? This guy's name, Schoenberger, always seems to pop up. And, and it leads us to, to this, right? All of this crazy conspiracy, right? All of these crazy conspiracy theories, do they result in actual mental breakdown, actual mental um, defect, actual crimes committed by people. Well, in the case of the shooters, I don't know, seven or eight that I rattled off, the, the answer is yes. Now, is it, is it, should we be nipping it at the bud? We know that this guy, Titus Frost, is, is, is somehow under the, the, uh, the, the, I don't know, the, 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 what do I want to call it? He's under the control of the gentleman that I talked about, these script writers, these, these masterful liars, right? These manipulators, right? The script writers that I talked about, right? He's under their control in some way. So let's watch his video. It's seven minutes. I'll, I will not interrupt. I want you to feel the, the anger and the angst build as, the, as he, he's driving around somewhere in Massachusetts. Good morning, everyone. Good morning out there. Um, today, I just want to bring your attention again to what's going on in Tucson, Arizona, as the mainstream media is not covering it, and the main alternative media is not covering it. We need all eyes on the situation that's going on there. We need all the patriots. You know, if you're 
pro QAnon, anti QAnon, doesn't matter. Like, we have something really big going on out in the desert. We've got veterans sitting out there about to be arrested today for quote unquote trespassing. People were asking me why they were arresting the veterans that went out there to shut down that trafficking site. It's because they're claiming they're trespassing on the property, which is completely ridiculous. They're not trespassing. They're there holding down a crime scene because the police won't go out there and do their damn job. Now, I know they're in Tucson and I'm a few states away, like a lot of states away here in Massachusetts, but I've driven by in less than two miles of driving, three speed traps already this morning. Three. Okay? Get off the side of the fucking highway and go investigate child trafficking, which is off the highway. It's right next to it. They're using the highways to do this crap. Like, leave people commuting to work alone and go investigate child trafficking. Okay, police? So right there, you see, I just want to reiterate a couple of things. He's got a, a seething hatred to the police. He believes that the child trafficking operations are operating off of highways. And, um, you know, and, and again, he's, it's, it's just a seething belief that, that no one is doing anything about it. And you see his anger start to build. I mean, fuck. What the fuck are you people paid for? You're going down there harassing veterans, shutting down a child trafficking camp. I'm like, oh, they want, you gotta stay calm so you don't get your YouTube channel taken down and all this shit. Fuck you. What the fuck is wrong with this country? Like, I go and I share this stuff last night. I say, please share. I get like 20 retweets or something. And there'll be some fucking article about some fucking upside down gun. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, seriously, what do you people care about? Do you guys care about riddles, or do you guys care about actually stopping this bullshit? And what the fuck are the police doing? Like, what are you guys doing? How do you not, within 24 hours of that being dropped, have the entire place cordoned off, the entire place searched, have teams fanning out from where you found this thing, looking for other kids, there could be literally kids trapped in underground tunnels in that area that the traffickers aren't going to because they're scared they'll get caught. And what are the police doing to help? Nothing. They're actually making it harder for the veterans to do what they're trying to do. Like, what the hell is wrong with our government? You know? Where is Donald Trump for this shit? Why isn't he sending, you know, get a special fucking investigator unit down there for this. Like, who gives a shit about Russian bullshit? There's no Russian fucking hacking, okay? Stop wasting our fucking tax money on some fucking bullshit. Go down, and when we find fucking underground tunnels where they're raping children on trees, go fucking investigate that shit. You know, Tucson police, 1.4 million dollars to fucking investigate child trafficking and what are they doing nothing nothing not a fucking thing you got veterans holding down some fucking drug cartel child rape camp and the police are doing nothing to hunt down the traffickers they're doing nothing to go find other victims in the area they're just sitting there harassing veterans like what the fuck is wrong with them Tucson police, what is wrong with you? And Chemex, the company Chemex, uh, or Semex, whatever the hell they call themselves, doesn't matter. Like, you're getting put on blast. As soon as my lunch break comes, call on your public, whatever, media relations, fucking piece of shit. And I'm putting them on blast, I'm gonna record it, and I'm gonna put it on air. Why the hell do you have a child trafficking fucking rape camp on your goddamn site and when that was found out why are you threatening to hire private security people to go in there and get the fucking veterans are trying to shut it down off the property like who the hell are you sorry for getting all amped up this morning but you know i went to bed last night woke up this morning just really pissed off 
really pissed off about this. We need people all the way up and down the I-19 corridor. We need people all the way up and down the I-10, you know, looking for this stuff. What they found, the fan, this thing was, there was two billboards, the guy said on the veterans thing last night. One billboard had two lights shot out. The next billboard had two lights shot out. In between those two billboards with the lights shot out was this place. That's how they found it. That was the signal. Okay? So, look for this. Like, if you see them doing that type of thing on the side of the highway and you see some sort of trail or some sort of, you know, abandoned looking cement factory or something like that, grow some balls and go look because the fucking cops aren't going to do it. They're just not. You know? And we have a really serious problem going on and all the police want is more fucking money to do nothing. Okay? So they're not going to help. You know? We need veterans, armed American citizens. This is why the Second Amendment is so important. Okay? We need legally armed American citizens to go down there and fucking find this shit. And if you find any of these traffickers, you fucking take care of them. Alright? This shit has got the fucking end. This is a fucking war. These people are fucking abusing children. It's time for it to fucking stop. I'm sorry for all the swears in this video, but this is a really serious topic. Really serious. And no one's covering it. Go look through your subscription box and see who's covering this right now. Alright? Peace, everyone. God bless. I'm off to work. Because I'm not a full-time journalist. If I was, I'd be covering this all day long. All day long today. Alright? Peace, everyone. God bless. Whoa. Wow, right? So there's Mr. Titus Frost. Should we blow the fuse? Should we blow the whistle on him, right? You take care of them. That's what he said. So there's imaginary underground tunnels. And with child child rapists in those tunnels raping children. And the way you find it is in between two billboards where the lights are shot out. And then you look for a trail and then you have the balls to go in there, draw your gun, and if you see this this stuff, right, then you take care of it. It's a war. So it can't be misunderstood of what he's talking about. You take care of it. He's not, he, if he hates the police, then he's not saying you should contact the authorities. He's saying it's a war and you should take care of it. Right? So at what, point, at what point does an individual snap and actually take it in their own hands? Right? The same scenario happened with Anthony Camillo, right? The, the serial, um, the Gambino shooter went to make a uh, citizen's arrest. He was an, uh, you know, a citizen's arrest. He was armed and he showed up at the predator's, the alleged, the fictional uh, predator's house. And when the predator didn't respond, he shot him dead. So, so is, is Titus Frost capable of showing up at someone's house armed or showing up in a factory that, you know, walking down the path with a gun and showing up in a factory demanding that the factory owners or the people in the factory show him the underground tunnels where the pedophiles are holding the children and raping them. And then when they refuse, is Titus Frost capable or someone like Titus Frost capable of shooting those people because they didn't cooperate? Well, I'll leave that up to you. I mean, that is the, the $64,000 question. It does seem that this is the state of all of the, all of the shooters that we're talking about have a similar story, have seething anger towards the establishment. Right? Again, no defense of the establishment. There are, there are very, very bad people in our government. The Clintons, you know, the, you know these are liars, cheaters, the, you know, practiced criminals. Absolutely. But to say that the solution is anarchy, the solution is, is, um, is arming yourself and becoming a, um, you know, a predator or a, uh, an assassin or a, uh, 
you know, one of, one of these guys that walks up to other people and shoots them is just ridiculous, right? And, and the, people like this will say, oh, the, the whole, the whole uh, one of the tells is that the, the, that the political system is so bad that you can't vote your way out of it, right? It's socialism. It's communism. It's capitalism run amok. Everything is corrupt. The only savior is Donald Trump. Trust the plan. Trust the plan. Q. I love you, Q. Q. Trust the plan. So, Marcus Conti reporting uh, on this very, very interesting LARP, a live action role play gone bust. The I showed you the potential killer, the potential. Um, is Titus Frost the script writer, the Charles Manson type script writer, or is he the potential killer? Is he the actual target of the script writers who uh, ultimately goes and kills? Just like the QAnon conspiracy is a uh, a series of script writers. But again, this particular this particular potential shooter, Titus Frost, is victimized not only by Q, but the other script writers that I pointed out. So Marcus Conti reporting, if you like this kind of, you know, this kind of investigative work, kindly contribute, uh, patreon.com, become a Patreon, $2, it's a good deal, right? Just forget about it, you know, where else, where else are you going to find out about these sort of things before they happen? Or make a one-time contribution at PayPal. Also, you could uh, buy some stickers, I have some stickers on eBay. Marcus Conti reporting.